strategy we're going to be doing is picture method with regrouping. At this point, it is extremely important that your kids draw their tens and their ones in a ten frame pattern so your students can easily recognize groups of ten. In this problem, 57 plus 28, there are different ways that your kids will be seeing their combinations of tens. One way that they'll see it is seven in the 57, and they will add the three ones from 28. We would have them circle their group of 10 and move it over to the tens. This builds upon our renaming that seven ones and eight ones makes 15 ones, which is also one 10 and five ones. So now they would take their picture and figure out what they have left. They see that they have five ones left. And then they see that they had the original five tens and two tens, which is seven tens, plus the one that they regrouped from their ones to make eight tens. So their answer would be 85. Another way they might notice their combinations of ten is from the two fives across the ten frame. So they could circle the five here and the five here to make ten and regroup it over into their tens. Again, building on our renaming strategy we just worked on. Now they see that they have two ones and three ones, which is still five ones. And five tens and two tens, plus the additional ten that they made from their ones to make 85. There are a bunch of different ways that they may see their, their ten ones, so each child will be different. Another way would be completing a ten frame. So in this example, 57 plus 28, I've only drawn the five tens and the seven ones, and I would continue drawing in my ones. So I would draw in eight, again, keeping the pattern of a 10 frame, five across, and I would draw in my two tens. Then I can see that I've completed a 10 frame, so I know that I have 10 ones which needs to become a 10. Now they see that they have five ones left across the bottom, and they have five, six, seven, eight tens for an answer of 85. 